Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. Today we've come to one of our apiary sites which is in need of a bit of maintenance so we thought we'd shoot a video and just show you the area that we're going to clear. Uh, we're blessed with a lot of blackberries in this particular location but they do tend to grow into the apiary quite a lot so we have to trim them back and that in turn helps them grow a little bit more and we get more flowers and therefore more nectar and more nectar means hopefully more honey. Uh, it's trying to snow so it's, it's fairly cold it's around uh, one degree here which I think is around 33 or 34 degrees Fahrenheit so um, it's not the coldest uh, I know some of you suffer from some very cold weather in the winter uh, and we've been fairly lucky of late with some mild temperatures uh, but it's cold enough for a hat so today I've brought my skep hat with me which I'll be wearing uh, this was made for me by my brother as a Christmas present thank you very much Gary um, I'm sure he'll take orders so if you want to order a hat let me know um, so we're going to get the hat on and we'll take you through to the apiary and show you what we're going to do okay so this is part of the apiary and what tends to happen is that all of the brambles will grow across into the summer and just cover all of these uh, hives so it's important that we cut them back to give ourselves plenty of room to get into the hives and also to let the bees fly and we'll take you on a tour around the apiary and then when we're finished we'll show you again what we've cut back and how much easier it is for us to access the bees.
So we've just had a cup of coffee and finished cleaning this site. Uh, I'm really pleased because it's cleaned up really quickly. Most of it tended to be dead wood, so uh, it came out fairly easily. And we've uncovered some sites that we didn't know we had. So this concrete slab that I'm standing beside was actually covered with brambles. So uh, we've given ourselves plenty of room now to be able to get more bees in and to open up the site. So if you've got an apiary where you've maybe got brambles that are growing, it's always worth just trimming them back because they do encroach very, very quickly. And if you've only got a couple of hives in the back garden, maybe at the bottom of the garden, then it's worth just popping down and having a look around the general area because what tends to happen is that the brambles grow out over the top and then the branch drops down and it's very easy to get that caught in your bee suit or your veil and tear a hole in your veil. And before I go, I just wanted to share a couple of other things that I've spotted at this apiary. Uh, firstly, the bees are out on cleansing flights. It's only about two degrees now, so it's still quite chilly, but there are maybe two or three of the colonies here that are out flying at very low temperatures. So it's worth making a note of bees that are flying out in colder weather, because they might be quite good in terms of foraging in colder weather in the spring. So if you see that your bees are out in cold weather, just make a mental note of it and have a look at when they're foraging in the spring because you might have a colony that's much better at overwintering. They can get out on cleansing flights and get out foraging earlier in the spring and therefore get a bigger crop. The other thing is that I found a colony that might have a problem. Uh, just on the front entrance, there's quite a lot of spotting. Uh, where the bees have come out to go on cleansing flights but have just literally pooped outside the front door. So I'm just going to take the camera over and show you. It could be that there's nothing wrong but it's the only hive in this apiary of eight hives that has any signs of dysentery at the front of the hive. So what I'm going to do is take a sample of these bees and check them for nosema. So I'll just show you the hive entrance and then I'm going to go and suit up and just take a, a sample of bees. So here you can see that we've got some active bees but also you can see the staining that we've got, the spotting and this is all bee poop where the bees have just come out all here and gone to the toilet without actually going away and flying away. So we may have a problem with this colony, it's not necessarily that we do have a problem, but I want to just check them for nosema. So I'm going to go suit up and just take a sample and I'll update you next week when I've got the results from that. Okay, so I've got my sample of bees. I've got 30 bees here and I'm going to use these for a nosema test. I just need to mark the bag up so that uh, I've got the hive identifier on there. That's it for this apiary. Uh, we're, we've cleaned it all and it's all now prepared for the new season, um, which is fast approaching. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you would share the video in any social media that you've got, that would be great. And we'll catch up next week. Thanks for watching.